Are you serious? Are you serious? Johnny Depp! I know, wait, 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 everybody calm down. I'm not talking about his latest movie again. And, you know, you know we know he was in the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean and all kinds of different things. No, no, no. Johnny Depp made a... say I took it as maybe he didn't mean it this way but it, it to me it felt like a little subtle threat to the president of the United States he did it very craft very craftily and, and he did it by quoting the actor John Wilkes Booth who assassinated the president of the United States so you have to understand when Madonna says she feels like blowing up the White House people stop and say wait a minute when you hear Ashley Judd say, I'm a nasty woman, people stop and say, wait a minute. And when you see people like uh, uh, different folks in uh, Congress, some of the congressmen or women, or the media saying things, or, a, or there's a play, or Snoop Dogg does a video where he's shooting a clown that looks like representing President Donald Trump. Or you see an, a, a, a Kathy Griffin of CNN holding up a severed be head of the president of the United States. Or an, in Central Park, there's a play. It might be Julius Caesar and Shakespeare, but Julius Caesar is actually a Donald Trump. Well, let's, let me tell you what Johnny Depp said uh, recently. Uh, Jokingly, ironically, he spoke of the killing of President Donald Trump. Speaking uh, this yesterday at the Gladysbury Arts Festival in the Southwest England, Mr. Jonathan Depp asked the audience, can you bring Trump here? The remark was met with booing and jeering, and he continued. He said, quote, you misunderstood completely. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? I want to clarify. And then he quotes, I'm not an actor. I lie for a living. However, it's been a while and maybe it's time. Then he says the words are being interpreted as an allusion to the assassination of President Abraham Lincoln by John Wilkes Booth, who was an actor. Back in 1865, Johnny Depp, who was introduced a screening of the 2004 films, The, the Libertine, is, in which he plays an, a womanizing poet, John Wilmot, second Earl of Rochester, acknowledged that his words would cause a storm. That's what he wants. He wants a storm. He says, quote, by the way, this is going to be in the press and I, it'll be horrible. He said, it's just a question. I'm not insinuating anything. Of course he isn't. He's not insinuating anything. At least he says he isn't. But certainly the conjecture from his statements brings it back up again, puts it back on the table for every, and we just had a congressman, Johnny, uh, Johnny, 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 look, I know, look, we just had a congressman shot and nearly died, and four others shot. The, the guy who shot him was a political terrorist. And uh, John T. Hodginson of Illinois, a former volunteer for the presidential campaign of Barry, excuse me, Bernie Sanders, uh, also had six more congressmen on a hit list in his back pocket. All of them were right wing conservative Republicans. And oh, by the way, all of them were professing Christianity, just saying. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not insinuating anything. I'm just saying. But the reality is we're in a, we're in a, we don't need another uh, attempt to even bring this I ideal. We don't even need this thing floating around out there, uh, Johnny. I have to say that. Then again, uh, it's just my opinion. But one thing's for sure, it goes on to say in the article, Secret Service 
have video evidence of Johnny Depp threatening to assassinate President Trump? Please do something, an account linked to Tennessee Republicans. Others suggested a boycott of Mr. Johnny Depp's films, although supporters countered the remarks were clearly made in a jest. Well, he said he was joking, and he said don't misread this, but the insinuation, he may say he's not insinuating, he may say he's not joking, but by the fact he put it out there and talked about John Wilkes Booth and, 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 and you know what I'm saying? It, we just don't need it right now. You know the environment is hostile toward Trump. The mainstream, lamestream, fake news media will never let up on the president till the end, till he's done with his presidency. And then, of course, the, the newspapers that are so left-wing leaning and the lies that are spinning out of Hollywood already, the last thing we need is another Hollywood actor getting in the fray. But, folks, this is the time we're living in. This is the day. Are you serious? Get a cup of coffee and just calm down, everybody. Somebody send uh, uh, Johnny Depp a letter and say, Johnny, Johnny, just calm down. Everything's going to be okay. How about an endorsement of the president, Johnny? Even if you want to joke about it. Just joke about endorsing the president for once. I mean, we, you, we won't have to take you literally if you don't want us to. You don't even have to insinuate you're endorsing him. But wouldn't that be a change of pace? That would be some real acting for you, though. Like you said, you're not really an actor. You're just a liar for a living. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. Folks, the Bible tells us in the last days they will speak evil of dignitaries. And it says in the last days, because iniquity abound, the love of many will wax cold. Pray for Johnny Depp. Pray for everyone. And mostly pray for the President of the United States and his family, the Vice President and his family, that they be protected in this hostile world. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. We are living in the last days. Do not miss today's live broadcast. We're going to be broadcasting here from the Salvation Station. We don't have our lights right. We don't have all, we don't, look, we're just, we're, we're working out the bugs, but, a, and I, I know we're going to have an American flag back there. Calm down, calm down. We're going to have it. It's going to come together. Just, we're working out the bugs today. We got a lot. It's going to take quite a bit. Help us. Thank you. God bless. I'll see you then.